Hello, my name is Tina Britton and I am giving my informative presentation on how to create an incident through the ShareWell Service Management. What is ShareWell Service Management? It is an ITIL service integrated solution with various functionalities that will enhance any information technology service desk. ShareWell Service Management has the following features to make this system a one-stop shop. It handles incident management, change and release management, as well as problem management. It also features an extensive knowledge base that will allow you to incorporate articles or quick solutions within the system itself. Today our focus is on how to create an incident through the ShareWell system. First, let's click on ShareWell system. You will click on this icon right here and open up the ShareWell system. Here you will see the queues here. You will see the IT help desk by customer. These are our internal customers that comes into the ShareWell system via the email. You have the PNG support. These are any tickets from our external users using the customer support and our red plum users these are external customers that are requesting coupons on the left hand side here is our task pane this will allow you to do quick searches you can search an incident you can view open incidents under common tasks we have quick view set up if you click on help desk tickets it will show you all the available help desk tickets that are open if you click on the PNG, there's no tickets available. If you click on Red Plum, there's also tickets, new tickets. I'm going to go back to the customized view of my dashboard here and go to the IT Help Desk New. Okay. Now let's create a new incident through the ShareWell system. I'm going to click on the the new button and go all the way down to new incident. I'm going to click on new incident. I'm going to use myself as the requester. Oh, let's try that one more time. I'm going to use myself as the requester. There we go. I'm going to use myself as the requester. My phone number is populated, my email address is populated, and my location. I'm going to do step one. I'm going to record the details of the ticket. I'm going to say printer issue cannot print. I'm going to go over to step two where I will classify this ticket. I'm going to type in printer and hit the tab for a quick search. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use Epson printer. If you notice, it's now populating. Here you will see under service is general BTS support. The category is the printer. The subcategory is the Epson DFX 5000 plus. All printer issues are severity three level. Under step three where you investigate, it, see, it says here that route as a severity three for a printer issue. Okay, if you look over here, I'm going to take ownership of this ticket because it's assigned to my team. I'm the customer support operator. So I'm going to take ownership of this ticket and it's now owned by me. 
The next thing I will do is to begin work. Click on begin work. And I'm going to say, just for the sake of this informative presentation, that the printer was making a loud noise. We sent the technician out. Now we can go ahead and resolve the issue. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to close this incident. You'll see down here in the resolution details that it says closed description. It said printer was making a loud noise and now the issue has been resolved. So you can completely close out of this ticket. If you look up here, it'll say, it'll give you another confirmation that the incident has now been closed. It's been closed by me at 10.30 a.m. I have went through the process of creating an incident in the ShareWell Service Management System. Is there any questions? Okay, thank you for your time.